Hey buddy, what's up? Ultramag64 here! And today guys, I bring you more of the My Little Pony game from Gameloft! Now, I might have jumped the gun a bit last week and said that that was going to be the last episode before the update, but apparently that wasn't the case, because here we are in the, the same update we were in last week, so apparently my timeline might have been a tad off. Um, supposedly we are supposed to get the update sometime this week, but I, I don't know anymore, and I'm just not going to even try and predict anymore. But, one neat thing that did come out, um, recently was that, uh, they, the, the game's Facebook page announced that, um, we'd be getting a, a new, a, uh, would be getting a new feature. Now, we, we've talked about this kind of feature before. Like, they, they've they've said they're going to do this beforehand, but for some reason they just either haven't done it or the way they do it hasn't worked out. But supposedly we're going to finally be able to transfer saves from one device to another. As many of you know, if you've been around um, for the series for the entire 50 episodes, we're, we're heading towards 50 now, um... But, if you guys have been around for the 50 episodes, then you'll know that we, we had a bit of a problem back when I started the game on Abigify, and then I moved over to my NVIDIA Shield that I use currently. We had a bit of a problem moving the save over, and eventually Game Loft was just like, you know what, we, we can't figure this out here, have, have money. So, so yeah, that, that's how we got into the predicament we are in now. So, um... I don't know if I'm going to be able to test that some way. I, I, I might figure something out, but uh, we, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, and that, that's about it in terms of new features that they've mentioned. Now, now there might be more things down the line, but I, I have honestly no idea. And for some reason, also, my friends list seems to be glitching out once again. Um... Because, see, it just loops on this retrieving information screen. And then if I get out of it and try and accept any friend requests, like Aunt Cookie here, I, I, I did not even know I had an Aunt Cookie. I mean, Aunt Cookie's... I, I, I'm sure she she makes good cookies like her name I implies, but, but, I mean, I can't add her because I've sat here. And I sat here for a good, like, five minutes before I recorded. And uh, trying trying to... Because I've got, like, like I said, I've got a ton of friend requests that I have to get through. Look at these. Look at all these. This is a week's worth of friend requests that I haven't been able to get to all week. Yeah. So, I, I, I'm not sure if something's wrong with my internet, or if, uh, well, the game's frozen now. I've broken the game. Can I, can I, nope. Oh, but there we are. All right, let me, let me try that again. Let me, let me just see. Alright, for some reason it doesn't receive all. There we go. And the game throws again. I, I just don't think I can... I, I don't think I can play games anymore. <laughs> I don't think I can. I think Game Love's like, You're not allowed to play games anymore, bud. You break them all the time. Okay, so I, I, I'll just... To save you guys trouble and, and to show off codes and stuff like that, like I usually do when I accept friend requests on the show, um, I'm just going to show you guys the, the, the friend requests so you can add them. You know, pause the video and, and add their numbers and all that jazz. So, um, yeah, that that's about it in terms of game news we, we've got from the, from the game itself. Um, I know I've been doing a bunch of other stuff as well on... Uh, Twitch and, and stuff like that. Uh, like, for instance, the latest uh, live stream I did was uh, for Ruby, uh, the Ruby game. And a lot, of, I, I was not aware that a lot of my audience likes Ruby. I, I was not aware of that. I figured that would be a game that would be like, yeah, I enjoy it, nobody else does, but I'm the one guy who does, but nope, apparently not. And can I say just how satisfying it feels to punch things in that game? That game is just... It's so fun to punch things. Um, I've also been playing Rise of the Tomb Raider for uh, on my Xbox One, which I'm also enjoying. I also I also enjoy that guy. I enjoyed the last uh, Tomb Raider game, um, the new ones. I also enjoyed the old ones, but um, 
One thing I'd really like to see is I, I really enjoy exploring the tombs, the optional tombs you get to explore in Rise, and I'd love to see them maybe make a game out of that. Like, maybe maybe once we're done doing whatever it is, because I haven't finished the game uh, for Rise, so I don't know what the heck we're doing. We're, we're searching for some idol. But I'd love to see... Why? I didn't even poke you! I didn't even poke the store page! Maybe I did with my meat hands. But, uh, I'd love to see, like, a game where it's like I get to explore tombs. Raid tombs. Like I do. Like my job title entails, I do. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and get all our stuffs done, and then we'll train some ponies, because I don't know what else to do anymore. Seriously, Game Loft, you need to step up your game. Loft <laughs> with these updates. Because I'd really like to see more content added to this, because I'll, I'll be honest, I'm... I'm it sometimes is hard to think of things to do in this game besides train ponies. And I mean, it's like I could do the social events and stuff like that, but... But I mean, if I can't connect to the socials, I'm afraid to. Let's, let's, see, let's just, for kicks and giggles, ooh, we've got that thing. Did I win? I don't know how... Wait, what? Points earned playing Crystal Mind Man. How? Wait, how? I haven't done anything! <laughs> okay, that's, uh... That's what? What? Zero, and I'm in seventh place. So someone's made less than zero! I just have to wait three hours and I got that guy. I don't even know who he is. I don't, but I, I, I'll, I'll keep it. I feel like I've broken something somewhere. I'm not entirely sure what's going on anymore. And I noticed a lot of people actually uh, commenting about the changelings in Canterlot since we're in Canterlot. Oh, hey, Coco's here! I kind of forgot about you, Coco. I'm sorry. But anyway, um, people have noticed the changelings and stuff just sitting there chilling. And uh, yeah, I, I just don't bug them. Because they're bugs. But more importantly, because if I need them for a quest, then they're there. And I can just be like, cool, I don't have to wait for nothing. Alright, Coco, let me let me get you out of that balloon. I, for I kind of forgot about her. I might, I might have forgot about her. I might not have visited Canterlot at all. Uh -oh, looks like we need to clear out our element shard farm and get us some more. So the hiatus begins now. And I'm, I'm curious what we're going to get. Because, like, last week we talked about the, uh, the season finale. And this week there's nothing to talk about. Because the season finale happened. So what do you guys think we're going to get between now and the uh, season six? Because supposedly, if rumors are correct, we're supposed to have a year-long hiatus. Which I'm okay with. But... What do you think we'll get in return? You think we'll see another Quester Girls movie or maybe a spin-off series? I know that they had um like chibi Quester Girl figures pop up and and they've been selling them uh for pre-order, which are adorable and I have to have some. But um that got me thinking like, well, what if what if they did a um a short, even mini series, or chibi series, <laughs> of um, Equestria Girls stuff centered around those figures. Now, again, that, that's a, this is a long shot in the dark here, and, and in no way is this backed up by any evidence whatsoever besides the toys being there. But I personally, I'd, I'd, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see something done with the Equestria Girls series, um, with the Equestria Girls franchise, uh, besides movies. Um, whether that be, maybe, maybe we'll get something online related. I don't know. Um, I don't see if that'd be more profitable for Hasbro in the long run. 
but it would free up some things they could do. They could do more kind of wacky, crazy things if they were online. Not to say they go, you know, full on, Fallout Equestria, we need grimdark things happening now to these horses. Yes, make it happen. No, you know, you, they can't do that, but they, it does free them up from TV. Um, maybe even partner up with Netflix and get a Netflix, I don't know, a Netflix original series for Pony. Um, that'd be interesting. Not, not like, uh, here's the, here's the problem. I'm, I'm not sure how they would do this because it would, it, it would make, it would create confusion across the brands because they've already got Equestria Girls. They've already got My Little Pony. So where do they go from there? You know, um. We saw a trademark for, uh, oh, what was it called? Equestria Girls, uh, something, 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 Legends of the Everfree, I think it was. Um, which many people thought would be either a spin-off series or a, uh, a new movie. But I, I'm curious if maybe, because I, I do think that partnering with Netflix, and Netflix did just announce that they're having twice as many, uh, original series being popped up, and since, generally, they're, they're actually quite good, those Netflix original series, especially like Jessica Jones, Daredevil, and all that jazz, um, I'm, I'm very interested to see if they, if they were given the reins for Pony, and I'm not saying, obviously, they can't make a, you know, hyper-mature, M-rated Pony TV show that just be, like, I know we want it, and I know it, it'd be cool, but I'm I'm 95% sure that will never happen. 95. Granted, I've been wrong in the past, but in this case, I, I think I can assuredly assure everyone that that is not going to happen. Um, now, that's not to say we won't get, like, you know, a show that's for all ages and has its mature kind of subtext that flies over kids' heads, because we've had that for years. Um, but I, I, I would like to see something brought out of, uh, Netflix. Now, they have done Netflix original kind of cartoons, um, one of them being, uh, How to Train Your Dragons, uh, spinoff series. I don't know what that is. I, I, I know it exists, and I, I have it on my Netflix queue, but I'm just like, I'll get to that eventually when I watch the, the whole series. I actually don't, haven't watched the series, because it's on TV, and it hasn't come to Netflix yet. Um... But, anyway, um, so I, I'd like to see them try something like that. Now, what could it concern? That would be the next question we'd have to ask. Now, maybe, maybe, just maybe, it'd be something like, um, maybe something centered around, well, a cutie mark crusaders we can't really do. Um, mm, that's the thing, is it's kind of like, well, what could we do? Who could we who could we bring together? Could it be a series dedicated only to background ponies? Because I mean, episode one hundred did fairly well in the fandom's eyes, at least. Um, I have no idea how that did numbers wise for Hasbro, but um, in the fandom's eyes, at least, an episode centered around where the main six take a back seat was actually quite refreshing. What if they made an entire series out of that, though? Would that be would they get stale and old, or could they find ways to refresh it? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I definitely think it'd be interesting to see, though. Now, one thing Dr. Wolf brought up, because um, I, I was thinking about maybe something with Starlight Glimmer, but one thing that Dr. Wolf brought up is that, um, at least in his, his theorizing mind, is that Starlight Glimmer might be playing a role similar to Sunset Shimmers in um, Season 6. We might see her kind of be a student, whereas Sunset's more of becoming more of a teacher, in my opinion. Um, which, again, I'm okay with. I, I like that Sunset... It's kind of weird, isn't it, that a, a, a has-been villain is teaching Twilight about friendship, and Twilight's teaching a has-been villain about friendship back in Equestria? That doesn't make sense. It's kind of paradoxy, isn't it? Which also begs the question, since we now know that Season 5's finale takes place before um, Friendship Games, could the dimension hopping um, 
or not the dimension hopping, the the magical buildup thing that happened in friendship games, could that have also been altered with the dimen with the uh, alternate timelines? I'm gonna say obviously not because I mean it, it didn't happen, but I don't know. It'd be it was ah man, they're just sorry. My, my brain's my brain's going too fast for my words. But um, you know, I, I I was interested by that to see like if they were in a different timeline, would that affect Equestria Girl, the Equestria Girls universe? And I guess we got our answer as in no, it doesn't. Which is weird. Maybe the Quest for Girls universe is on a different timeline, though. Um, which would, I guess, make sense. Because it seems like Sunset's been there for four years? Maybe? Um, that That's solely if they, they only have one dance a year. Which I'm not sure if they do. Gosh darn it. Um, I'm not sure if they have one dance a year at Cantalot High. I'm gonna go with no, because that'd be a very, very boring school to go to. But, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. As, as a as a student of Cantalot High, totally not Crystal Prep, I can I can say the educational system needs some work, Celestia. The, the educational system needs some work. We need to be able to do more than just match cards all day. I'm pretty sure that that's not learning. That That's just matching cards all day. Just saying. Just saying, Celestia. Step up your game, girl. There's no wonder Crystal Prep's beating us. Which also begs the question... Since Crystal Prep is obviously, you know, the Crystal Empire, the quest for girls of hide, I couldn't think of a word. Um, what is Cloudsdale? Is Cloudsdale another school, or is it a higher learning school, like like college or something? Um, which then also begs the question, where the heck's Ponyville? Or are they in Ponyville? That, that's another thing in the quest for girls universe is... Is the town called Ponyville, or is there a school that's similar to Ponyville? I mean, Cantalot High is kind of already kind of like Ponyville because it's got a lot of the Ponyville ponies, but still, I mean, Crystal Prep has a lot of Canterlot ponies, so uh, I, I'm I'm not sure because there's just a bunch of a bunch of things that, that are I, I, oh, I don't know. There's so many questions unanswered. Um, but I'd like I'd like to see that. I I wonder if it's just full of griffins, it's just full of griffin people. Well, well, not griffin people, but but people who are in in Equestria griffins. <laughs> there we go. I was like, well, no. <laughs> I'm a little tongue tied today. I'm sorry. I'm also curious what kind of what what else are they gonna do in this game? I, I'm I'm always curious about that because it's like, where can they go now? They've kind of taken Starlight out of the villain pool now because you can own her by paying twelve easy payments of twelve ninety nine or eleven ninety nine, however much it is. Um, but like like, what are they gonna do for content now? Are they just gonna keep adding ponies because they kind of sucked the wind out of their own sails here. Because it's like, they could have done a whole thing where Starlight Glimmer is in... is the villain now, and she's like, oh, guess what? I'm going to mess with all these things. You have to come all the way to insert town here, you know? Um, th that would have led them to be able to unlock more towns and stuff. Like, like see, let, let, let's take a look at the map here. Um, for instance, since... Let's see, Full Mountains... Manhattan... Which, this map also needs to be updated, because we got an updated map and we need, like, Griffin Stone and all that jazz. But, whatever. Um, say, like, oh, you need to come to the Crystal Empire to stop Starlight Glimmer from stealing whatever, or making time go crazy, because reasons, I don't know. Point is, they kind of have sucked that out of it, because they could have done, like, like, they've already done Tyric, and they've done Nightmare Moon and Chrysalis. So, what's left? You know, what What other big bad monster do we have that's left here? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like Gameloft's kind of maybe done goofed. Because as far as I'm concerned, they're not adding any more features. And I want more features, Gameloft. I need more minigames. 
How many times have we picked apples? Why are there so many apples in in Equestria? Why? How in the world do these apples keep keep making more apples? Or apple trees? It just doesn't make sense. It just does not make sense. Alright, I had to say that's enough. For one day, enough ponies for one day. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a fantastic day. If you want to check out the My Little Pony game from Gameloft, link in the description down below for the iOS, Android, and Amazon versions. Um, hopefully the update will come out sometime this week. If not, well, I'll see you guys next week with more grinding. So I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm Ultramag64, if you want to add me on Gameloft's social thingamabob that, that doesn't work for me for some reason today. It is 0145. That's 0145. But anyway, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>